square root of 12. I'm gonna do it much smaller so I don't have to cheat and use a, the ginormous compass. Looking for two perfect squares that add up to give us 12 or subtract to give us 12. 16 and four. 16 take away four is equal to 12. The 16 is four squared, take away two squared, is equal to root 12 squared. That's what we're after. We know that this is gonna be our C squared, our C is equal to four. This is gonna be our A squared, and this is going to be our B squared. B is, is root 12, our A is two, and our C is four. I wanna construct a triangle that looks like this. So this is your right angle. This is gonna be your four, this is gonna be your two, and this is gonna be your root 12. I wanna make my number line about that long, about half the size of the paper. Let's see how long we can make the darn thing. As long as my compass can go. This length. I want my four to be, what is 16? So I'll make this my four. Every four centimeters is gonna be one. This is my zero. And that's my four. I need to make a half circle on that. So I go to my two point, adjust it so it goes through my four, through my zero. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Make sure it goes through both. If it doesn't go through both, then your two is in the wrong spot. There we go. There's my half circle. Then I need to make the two. Hey, which I've, I've already done here. This is already too long. So I'm gonna go to my four and mark off this length is my two. There's your right angle triangle. I have four, two. This length has to be the square root of 12. This is a perfect square. This is my four. This is my two. So this must be root 12. Then take my compass, adjust it so the pencil length is root 12. And that's why we made it that long. And then make an arc down to your number line. This is going to be your square root of 12. Second square root of 12 is 3.46.